I'm Bill Rainey. I'm president of the West Virginia Coal Association. I uh, have been in West Virginia all my life. Uh, proud to be here and uh, certainly want to see a bright future for West Virginia as I am very, very proud of the heritage that we have here in this state. The West Virginia Coal Association represents the coal industry in West Virginia. It's the producing community that uh, brings about 150 million tons of coal to the, to the world market. And we represent 85% of the companies that uh, make that production possible, uh, as well as all those that support the production of coal from the engineering to the banks to uh, all of the, the equipment dealers, the equipment manufacturers, and the ones that have an interest in a mine operating somewhere in the 26 counties here in West Virginia. They have a common theme, and that is that we all like electricity. And in order to have electricity, you know, each day they're modernizing the plants. Each day we're modernizing the mines. And we've got to modernize the infrastructure. The plants are modern. Our mining operations are modern. And you've got to have the infrastructure, the method of delivery of that power to people that is efficient, effective, reliable, and low cost. There's no way in the world that a business can operate with 30-year-old equipment without any kind of routine modernization and updating. It's just like your home, I, I feel like, that you move into an older home, then the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fix the electrical circuits in it. Uh, if you've got fuse boxes, you're going to move the circuit breakers. Uh, and you're going to move to all the newest of equipment so that your family's safe and you know that you're going to have the delivery of electricity. You know we're all used to electricity now. It's almost an entitlement. But minor safety depends on electricity uh, when you think about it. It's the operation of the equipment and it's the roof support. It's the roof bowling equipment. It's all of those pieces of equipment that are used underground. So you've got to have a reliable source of electricity. You've got to have a dependable means of delivery in order to have the equipment that the people depend on to keep the mine safe. It's enormously important that everybody in West Virginia have a deep concern for the modernization of the infrastructure that's necessary to deliver the electricity. When you think about it, as, a, as everyone looks at it, we all depend on electricity. And we expect it to be there when we want it. Now, in order to do that, it's got to be updated, it's got to be modern, it's got to be reliable, it's got to be dependable.